last week's video because I made a whole ceramic process video which please go and watch that if you're just starting your ceramics journey it kind of compresses a lot of information that you need to know about the process of making ceramics um, but I'm back with a vlog this week and I'm really excited because I'm working on a lot of cute stuff I am glazing my keep cup collection waiting for some lids to come in to make sure they all fit together I'm making Christmas ornaments. Well, I've already actually cut out a lot of them, but um, they're so cute. And I've been selling these at market and they've been selling like crazy. So I've just like cut some more. I'm gonna be doing glazing and a single fire as well this week. So I'm really excited. Everything's like, I feel like sped up so quickly and I'm really busy, which is such a nice problem to have because I've been having a slow, couple of months throughout winter and it's been really fun to meet so many people at markets and it's just been like really rewarding recently which is so nice so today is a bit of glazing and I think that's pretty much it for today but we'll see what else we get up to this week and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog
everything to catch me before gravity do. Been through so much, we don't gotta make a sound. One look, we know what the call of you. Keep holding me down. I float away, but you grounded me through in separate towns. And somehow, he catch up to me now. thought while I unpack this amazing firing that I would go through how I actually fire with my manual kiln so as you'll see in a second mine's operated by this dial system on the front and the numbers correlate to the intensity of the elements so to mimic an automatic firing I slowly work my way up the numbers throughout the firing so for the bisque firing I open up this vent and I just put the kiln on the beginning dial which is just labeled on I'll put the rest of the schedule on the screen, but basically you're just going to slowly work your way up to the temperature and then you turn the kiln off and allow it to cool for 12 hours. The same goes for the glaze firing and I'll put the schedule that I figured out on the screen too. Everyone's kilns and elements are different, so play around with what works for yours, test out what numbers might correlate to what temperature and the slower you can kind of go the better it's not an exact science you're just much better off playing with the numbers and slowly working your way up to the temperature that you need to get to um, and that's kind of the safest bet so i hope that helps some of you out there i really struggled when i first got my kiln because it's really overwhelming but that's how it works and um, we'll continue unpacking this firing I've actually chatted with you so I thought we could have our coffee together this morning and also start to measure out some clay for some pinch pots. So there's a few kind of things going on right now. I'm doing a huge Christmas market on Sunday. It's currently Friday so I've kind of just been panic making firing for that market for the last couple of weeks and I also am going to be staying a night in Perth next week so it gave me it's kind of made me speed up the process so that I'm organized for everything um, but my keep cups are really like going so well like the firing that I showed you guys a lot of them are my keep cups that I'm doing and I'm just waiting on the lids for them and I'm like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to release them when I wanted to which is a shame but there's nothing I can do. Um, there's a lot of delays in postage because of um, Christmas time and just like generally things take forever to get to me here in WA um, because it's just like so far away from everything that I order. So I really hope that I can release them sooner rather than later but at the same time I've kind of been stressing but there's nothing I can do about it so there's no point. Um, and I've kind of done a bit of like a, a revamp recently where I've deleted TikTok and I've made some rules for myself, um, for social media in general. So with the TikTok thing, I downloaded it a couple of years ago to promote my business, like a lot of people do. 
and I had a couple of TikToks go really well, but like I never really found that it was um, translating to sales. And I posted probably two to three videos on there every single day. And I just kind of realized one day when I was scrolling on it, because obviously like you get on there to promote business and then you end up becoming like a consumer. Um, I was just like looking at my screen time and I was spending like an hour on TikTok every day and an hour or more and I was just like that's not really productive and because like nothing even though the videos that have like gotten um you know thousands of views haven't really translated to sales I think I've had a couple of customers that are like really lovely from TikTok but I just like have been kind of taking admin and thinking about what's really important to me and where I might be wasting energy and TikTok for me was one of those things. I deleted it about a week ago and I really do feel clearer. Um, I feel like TikTok is like the perfect escapism so I've been finding me myself um, really sitting with myself a lot more. Sorry, I had a sneeze. And it's <laughs> there it is. I've been finding myself like sitting with myself a lot more because like TikTok isn't there and TikTok like it's made me realize how good it is at tuning out the rest of the world because there's nothing else that I can go on on my phone that's that encompassing. Um, but it's nice. I've been watching like a lot more YouTube videos and movies and shows and as like funny as that sounds but that to me is like so much better than TikTok for my mental health it's still screen time um and I've also been playing like games um like on my switch instead of um TikTok and everything like that because I find that I'd rather actually like get into a movie or a game than kind of expose myself to unrealistic ideals politics, just stuff about other people's lives because it, I think it actually drains people a lot more than like you realize. So that's been honestly transformative and I've made a rule for myself that I'm not going, I don't go on, um, I don't scroll on social media until 12 p.m. Um, and I just, I find that that's quite good for me because I really enjoy like my mornings and as soon as I get into that world I find that I can't exit it um, and what I mean by that is like if I check Instagram in the morning I'll be checking it for the rest of the day. I don't know why I'm like that I guess it's just the addictive nature of like the app but I if I like wait until 12 then I've at least had a good like five hours without scrolling on social media which is really nice um, so that's been really fun and it's honestly made a huge difference to my life and I'm like quite happy about it um, I feel like it's nice to make certain changes and implement them I feel like it really like helps you gain confidence in yourself and I've, I've actually also cut back on everything in terms of like excess shopping um, because I can really struggle with just buying way too much and outside of like what I can afford so that's like been really um, also really like fun to challenge myself in that way like if you have something an area of your life with, with, that you're like feeling dissatisfied with like you don't like that you're on TikTok all the time or maybe you don't like that you're gaming all the time or eating all the time or anything like that you can make changes and like it's really nice to it's really nice to challenge yourself and to trust yourself to do hard things I feel like it really impacts your confidence and your kind of feeling of control and power in your own life um, but that's uh, that's been really fun and apart from that I've honestly been working non-stop like as you guys can probably see in this vlog I've just done so much glazing like it's ridiculous 
and I've actually got a firing on right now as well and like so I've done like two full kiln loads which is like a lot for me I might usually do like one firing every two weeks or so so I'm, I'm like really pleased with myself and yeah I'm kind of like I'm kind of nervous for Christmas because I feel like there's a lot of pressure on small businesses to kind of have heaps of stuff and not only that but to sell lots of stuff um, as a small business if you're kind of made to feel like it's your only chance to get sales which is untrue but I definitely still feel the pressure but I've got a big like restock coming soon that I think is going to be really awesome um, and it should include the keep cup so I'm really excited about that but for the rest of the day what am I doing I am going to make some more pinch pot cups because I've pretty much fired all of my um, pieces I don't have anything drying right now and then I'm also going to be editing my video so I'm going to finish the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed um, please subscribe and leave a comment it really really helps me out I post videos every single week and I'm really adamant about doing that. It's been three months. I haven't missed a week. And my goal is to get to six months posting every single week. And my goal is to get to a thousand subscribers. That would make me so effing happy. Um, follow me on Instagram. And I've actually linked a little discount code for you guys for my Etsy store in the description. So if you watched until the end, you get that little reward. Um, but I really love you guys so much and I appreciate all your support. I appreciate you guys coming over to Instagram and hanging out there and like every single comment means so much to me. So thank you for your continued support. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.